so the purpose of this video is to just give you some updates on everything or at least some of the more interesting things that I've put into tissue culture. The African Violet Watermelon Snows are doing amazing. I did have some jars where the leaves just died and then I got rid of a few jars just because I had so many and I didn't want to end up with like a billion African Violets. Half a billion is enough. You can actually see there's baby plants growing in these jars. They are so adorable. You can see their little tiny leaves forming. I can't see any variegation on the leaves yet. African Violet Watermelon Snow is a variegated violet, but we have plenty of callus forming. These jars look incredible. African Violets, I've found to be like the easiest plants to tissue culture and some of the easiest media to make. So if you're looking to get started in tissue culture, I highly recommend African Violets, even though they are notoriously plants for old people. If you do want to get started in tissue culture and you don't have any supplies, I do have an affiliate code now with Plant Cell Technology. So if you go to their website, you'll get 10% off if you use the code plants in jars, all capitals, no spaces. I chaotically also started some seeds in tissue culture one day. So these are from Experimental Farm Network, um, which is a cool website, but I think they're some type of white jalapeno or like white hot pepper. And you can see they're like not doing very well. Three of the four germinated. They're like stuck in the media, the La Brea tar pit of tissue culture. I do also have some bigger African violets in tissue culture and these were from the first ever time that I actually did tissue culture at all. So I'm amazed that I still have them alive. So these are the plants that I subcultured in this video. I subcultured them trying to get them to root, but I think I still kept giving them too much light. I was supposed to decrease the amount of light from 300 to 150 foot candles to help with their rooting. They're still getting 300 and instead of rooting, they just grew more callus and now new baby plants are growing out of the older plants. There's actually one leaf that actually has a tiny little baby plant just like growing out of the surface of the leaf. I'm gonna try to take a picture of it for you guys. These are Cebu, Cebu, Cebu Blues that I put into tissue culture in my most recent video. Pretty much every single explant has a shoot growing from it already, which is so fast. I put these into tissue culture, I think, exactly one week ago now, so I'm really, really impressed. Some of the nodes I placed upside down because I couldn't tell which way they go, and now I can tell that they're growing upside down because some of the shoots are actually growing down into the media instead of growing up out of the media. So when I subculture those, I'll flip them the correct way off camera, privately, I guess. I actually did a similar experiment with the Cebu Blues. This one I put into tissue culture February 7th, which was now about six weeks ago, and this has done nothing but grow a ton of roots and the difference between this media um, that didn't work out and this media that's working really well so far is just that the media that's working contains TDZ and the media that's not working as well just contains BA. One thing that I'm interested in learning a lot more about is, oops I have like this giant water cup over here <laughs> in a beer stein. One thing that I'm interested in actually learning more about is why certain cytokinins work for certain plants The orchids haven't been doing that well. One of them is contaminated and it looks like a few others might actually be contaminated as well. Um, but I just will grab like one of the closer ones. They're just not doing anything except for getting contaminated. If you remember that video, we did like the double bleach process and during the video I think I said I'm really nervous to do this because I think we're over treating them with bleach and they're gonna die, but somehow they still got contaminated. It's only been about two weeks since I put those into tissue culture, so it would be early to see shoots forming anyway, but I just like don't have the best feeling about the orchids for how they seem to be doing now. Luckily, I have a greenhouse outside that currently has 500 orchids in it, so we have plenty of orchids to choose from for the next time I want a tissue culture and orchid. I think that's everything that I currently have in tissue culture right now, or at least that's interesting enough to share. I wanted to put those Teruno pothos from Japan into tissue culture soon, but they just started growing a lot, so 
I think I'm gonna wait until they have a few more nodes so that I can have a few explants from each cutting instead of just having one explant and risking it not working. So yeah, that's the update. Thank you guys so much for watching. My channel's been growing so fast. I literally wake up every morning and I check my subscribers because I've been getting like 10 a day, which I know like compared to a lot of YouTubers is not a lot, but it's really exciting for me. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it.